Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the counting sort. In the last lecture, we have taken an example of the counting sort that has uh, the numbers which is uh, in a very short range and the counting sort will be actually a subsidiary technique which will provide the help to the sorting techniques like the radix sort. So it will have the numbers in a very short range. For example, the numbers may be in the range of 0 to 9 or if you are taking the uh, numbers to sort, if you are taking the items to sort which are the names, in that case we will have the alphabets in the range for example A to Z. So the counting sort is a linear time sorting technique which sorts the numbers in order of n time. Now let's take another example to understand this counting sort. Let's say we have the numbers and uh, let's say this array has the indexes starting from 1. Okay, so we have 11, 11 elements and the range of the numbers that are appearing in this uh, array are 1 to 7. The smallest number is 1 and the largest number is 7. Some of the numbers in between may be repeated. So what we are going to do for this, for performing the counting sort, we will count every occurrence of the number. For example, we are taking the counting array which will have a size equal to the largest number in the set. So the largest number here is 7. So the length of the counting array will be 7. And the indexes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We are initializing that every number is appearing once. So C1 is referring the occurrence of 1. C2 is referring to the occurrence of 2, C3 is appearing, uh, C3 is referring to the occurrence of 3 and so on and so forth. C1 is uh, referring to the occurrence of 7. So we have considered that every number is appearing 0 times. That's why we have initialized every element of C array as 0. Now we will take every element of the A array and will update the counting. So this is 7. So we will go to the 7th place in the counting array and we will update this counting to 1. So for this 6 we will go to the 6th position in the C array counting array and we will update the counting to 1. Similarly for this 4, for this 3, for this 1 I am going to first position in counting array and updating the counting to 1. For this 5 going to 5th position in the array, for this 2 going to 2nd position in the array. For this one going to first position in the array and updating the counting from 1 to 2. For this two going to second position and updating the count to 2. For this seven going to seventh position and updating this count to 2. For this five going to fifth position and updating this count to 2. So this is the counting array. This is the counting array and uh, it now has the counting of every element in the array. So 1 has a counting 2, 2 has a counting 2, 3 has a counting 1, 4 has a counting 1, 5 has a counting 1, 6 has a counting 1 and 7 also has a counting 2. <clears throat> now I am going to find out how many elements are less than or equal to particular element. For example, if there is a number 1, there is no number which is less than 1. So number of element which is equal to 1 is 2 and there is no number which is less than 2. So here we are updating the C array to contain the number of elements less than or equal to particular element. So number of elements less than or equal to 1 are 2. Number of elements which are less than or equal to 2. Number of elements which are equal to 2 are 2. And number of elements which are less than 2 is only 1 which has a counting. 2. So 2 plus 2, 4 is the number of elements which are less than or equal to 2. Similarly, number of elements which are less than or equal to 3 will be 2 and 1. So cumulative counting of 2 and 1 is 4. And number of elements which is equal to 3 is 1. So 4 plus 1, this is equals to 5. So similarly, number of elements which are less than or equal to 4 will be 5 plus 1, 6. 
नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट विच आर लेस देन और इक्वल टू फाइव विल बी सिक्स प्लस टू एट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विच इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू सिक्स विल बी एट प्लस वन नाइन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट विच आर लेस देन और इक्वल टू सेवन विल बी नाइन प्लस टू इलेवन नाउ इट्स अ टाइम फॉर द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द नंबर्स सो लेट्स टेक अ फाइनल अरे बी विच इज हैविंग द सेम लेंथ एज दैट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल अरे इट मीन्स it will have a size 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 size now we're going to place the numbers we will take the number from the back side in the original array and we'll put it there in the uh, sorted array b so now for this 5 for this 5 we will go to fifth position in the c array which is telling us 8 now 8 is the position of this 5 so a at 8th position in the b array we are going to place this number 5 after placing this number 5 at 8th position we are going to decrement this c array value to 7 it means if i found a 5 here i have placed that at 8th position next time when 5 will come i will place that at 7th position okay that's why we are decrementing this value now we are taking this value 7 So seven position in C array, it is telling us eleven. So at eleventh position in this B array, I am going to put the seven, and then this value will be decremented by one. Then for this two, go to second position in the array. It is telling us four. So at the fourth position in C array, we are going to store this two, and this value is decremented by one. Now for one, go to one position in the C array, which is telling us two. So at second position in uh, or uh, final array, we are going to store this one, and this value will be reduced by one. For this two, go to second position. This is three. At third position, we are going to store this two, and then this value is decremented by one. For this five, go to fifth position in C array, which is seven. So at seventh position in the final array, we are going to store. Five. Now this value is decremented by one. Go to first position in the C array, which is telling us one. At first position, store this one, and decrement this value to zero. Now for this number, go to third position in the array, which is telling us five. So at the third position, we are uh, at the fifth position in the B array. We are going to store this three. Decrement this value by one. Then for this four, go to the fourth position. we just telling a 6 at 6 position we are going to store this 4 and we have to decrement this value to 5 now for the 6 go to the 6 position it is telling us 9 at the 9th position we have to store the number 6 and we have to decrement this value to 8 for the 7 go to the 7th position in the array which is telling us 10 so at 10th position store the 7 and decrement this value to 9 so this is the sorted array you can see that all the numbers here are sorted so what we are observing here that we had if we start from the back side we have stored the numbers here and we have got the elements in the ascending sequence now this can be done by putting the number from the front also if we, if we move from here to here then also we will be finding the sorted array but if we are storing the numbers from the back side to the front in that case this 5 was stored at fifth position and the next 5 which is coming is stored at seventh position it means first 5 is stored first and next 5 is stored here similarly this 2 has come to fourth position and this 2 has come to third position it means the relative ordering of the number in the original array has been maintained in the final array so that's why counting sort is also called the stable sort okay counting sort is also called the stable sort now in this array we have not considered zero and if we consider zero our our solution more or less will remain same but the placement of the items will change so we shall take zero also but before that let's take at the the uh, algorithm of this counting sort so for writing the algorithm of the counting sort let's take the a array which is the original array 
which has n elements and k is the largest element in this set. So, okay, so then we are going to take a C array which has a size k and every element of the C array initially will be initialized to 0. So, ci is equals to 0. For i equals to 1 to k, ci is equals to 0. So, this is the first thing that we have done. Then we will start the counting of the elements in the original array. Okay, for this I will have to refer to every element of the original array and the total number of elements in the original array are n. So, what we are going to do, we are referring to the ai element and whatever is the ai element, we are going to c array in that uh, c array in that particular cell, it means ai element is actually being treated as the index of c array and we are going to update the counting by 1. Whatever value is there earlier, that is incremented by 1. So, after this loop, we, will have, we would have found the counting of elements. Now, after the counting, what we have to do? We have to find the number of elements which are less than or equal to particular element. So, for, for this, so what we will do? The first element remains same. This element is equal to currently this element plus this element okay so for the first element remains same so we will have to start the addition from the second element to the kth element what we are going to do ci is equals to ci plus the previous element in this array so ci equals to ci plus ci minus 1 <clears throat> so, this is telling us the number of elements which are less than or equal to a particular element. After this, the placement of the numbers will take place and uh, as you know that placement of the number is going to take place from the back side. So, for i equals to n to 1 step minus 1. So, the loop is being uh, loop is being taken which moves from the last position to the first position. What we are going to do, we are going to refer to an element ai. This element is being treated as the index for the ci array. C array. Okay. Whatever position it is telling, that is the index of b array and at that index in the b array, we are going to insert the element ai. So first we are referring to the ai element, for example, this 5 is there. So 5 is ai. 5 is A11. We are referring to fifth position in C array. So C of AI. This is telling us 8. So we are going to eighth position in the B array. So B of 8. And we are restoring this number at the eighth position. So is equals to AI. So having restored this number, the element at C array will be decremented by 1. So this is the normal practice that we adopt. So this value is decremented by 1. Now finally we have the elements which is sorted in the B array and we can return the B array as an answer array. So this is the algorithm for counting sort. Okay. Now, if we analyze this algorithm, then we can say that k is much, much less than n. n is a very large quantity and with respect to n, k is a very small quantity. Now, this loop takes k effort because this loop runs k times. This loop runs n times. It will take n effort. This loop runs k minus 1 times. So, it will take k minus 1 effort. This loop runs n times from n to 1 and inside the loop we have two statements. So the effort here will be 2n. One statement for return and one for this declaration. So the total effort which is actually required is 1 plus k plus n plus k minus 1 plus 2n plus 1. So this is 3n plus 2k this one and this one cancels out plus 1. So, 3n plus 2k plus 1. 
so the effort which is actually taking place here will be theta of n because k is very small can be treated as a constant and 1 is also a constant and 3n means the multiplier of n is a constant value so that will be omitted and the time complexity of this algorithm is theta n now what about the space complexity of this algorithm for understanding the space complexity of this algorithm let's see how many variables we have taken from our side n is given k is given and a is given so we have taken a b array from our side and b array has a size n okay b array has a size n so this is the space that we took from our side we took a c array also which has a size c size k so k is also the space we are taking from our side and there is only one loop counter that is i so one extra space for that as well so n plus k plus 1 is the space complexity which can be represented as theta of n so theta n is the space complexity and theta n is the time complexity as well now in this uh, uh, in, in this example what we have taken is uh, the array which is having only or the numbers which are ranging from 1 to some value okay now if we have the number 0 also what method what methodology we should adopt such that the zero can also be accommodated so for that let's take an example to elaborate now suppose we have the numbers let's take a smaller example 0 5306210 okay so this is the original array now let us consider that in the earlier example we used to take the index from 1 let's take the index from 0 okay and let's take a counting array it also has the index from 0 and uh, the largest element in the set is 6 so the size of the c array will be 6 plus 1 7 why 6 plus 1 7 because we are going to accommodate 0 also so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and a 6 as well okay so the value at every position will be initialized to 0 then for 0 we will go to the zero index and update the counting to 1 for this 5 we will go to the fifth index and update the counting to 1 for this 3 we will go to the third index and will update the counting to 1 for the 0 we will go to zero position and update the counting to 2 for the 6 we will go to the sixth position and will update the counting to 1 for this 2 we will go to the second position and will update the counting to 1 for this 1 we will go to the one position and will update the counting to 1 so the final counting here is 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 and 1 so indexes are <coughs> 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now we'll find out the number of elements which are less than or equal to a particular element so for this we need to rearrange the c array index 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 2 remains same so 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 0 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 1 7 so number of elements which are less than or equal to 0 are 2 number of elements which are less than or equal to 1 are 3 number of elements which are less than or equal to 2 are 4 number of elements which are less than or equal to 3 are 5 and so on and so forth so having found the number of elements which are less than or equal to let us place this number in the final array so final array we will will have a size 7 and once again the indexes will vary from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now uh, this is the change that we will have to make for example we if we have let's say the 6 number okay 
for placement of the sixth number in this array, if I refer to the C array, it is telling us seventh. So there is no seventh position. So we will have to store it at sixth position. So while storage, we will we we will store at the place or at the index one less than this this index. Okay. So for this one, we are going from there. So for this one, go to one index. This is telling us three. So you have to store this one not at three position but at two position. Now the syntax is decremented by two. Now for this two, go to the second index. This is telling us four. So store this two at not at fourth index, at third index. Six. Go to sixth index. This is telling us seven. So at sixth position, we are going to store the six. Now for the zero, go to the two posi zero position. It is telling us two. So store zero at one position, not at two position. Now for this three, go to the third index, which is telling us five. So store this three at fourth index. For this five, go to fifth in fifth index here. This is telling us six. So store this element at fifth index, not at fourth index. Now for this zero, go to zero position. This is telling us one. So store this element as zero position. Okay. So every time we have to store a number, we have to decrement the position also. For example, here we have forgot to do so. And after this, zero index. So only change that we have actually made is this one. We are referring to AI element. Then we are referring to the C array at the same index. Then we are going to store this number AI not at this position, but one less position at this. So this is the only change that we require to make in the algorithm. So now let's go to the algorithm and make the necessary changes. If we want to include the zero, we will have to make the changes also. Now here, we will take the size of C array not as k, but k plus one, because we have to include the zero as well. Okay. Now this counting will start from uh, this index will start from zero. Similarly, this index will start from 0 and since we have n elements, so we will move up to n minus 1 index. Now here, we will not start from 2, here we will start from 1 because the index is starting from 0. Here we will start from n minus 1 and will go to 0 position. And then while storage, only change will be made for this one. So C of AI and then minus one. So I'm rewriting this. So here will be written as AI is being referred. We're referring to, sorry, here we are, let's, let's say we rewrite here. We are referring to AI element. Then we are going to C array at that position. For finding out the position in the BI, we are decrementing it by one or we are subtracting one from the actual CI position and we are storing AI there. Okay, the rest of the things remain same in the algorithm. So we have included zero also. Yeah. Okay, so this is how we do the counting sort that includes the zero as well. Thank you.